How do we accommodate multiple tool stations within Palmol Robot to perform milling, surface polishing, as well as grinding on this single turbine blade? Let's start by running a simulation. You'll notice station number one, we perform the milling operation, perhaps in this case to, uh, to machine away excess weld from after the subsequent to the repair operation. And if I speed up the following simulations, you'll notice we get to the edge grinding station, in this case station number two, followed by a small repositioning or transitioning move through to the profile polishing station, and then finally, and ultimately, we have the tip grinding station. If I temporarily remove uh, the robot from the simulation and just adjust some, some parameters, if we take a look at the, the tool paths themselves, this is how the, the PAML programmer needs to um, needs to set up the work. In other words, he's going to be programming without the robot in mind, just as he normally would for a, for a multi-axis machine. So in this case, we have the, the particular toolpath for, for the milling. If I activate the third simulation, which is the polishing simulation, you'll notice we also have the toolpath. If I also run a subsequent simulation on this, You can see that it's relatively basic and simplistic for the programmer to, to work and create the initial toolpaths. So how then do we create the, the somewhat complex looking simulation? Well, it's actually quite easy. <clears throat> what we do is within the, within the robot cell, we build in the multiple tool attach points. So if I send this robot home temporarily, and then invoke the cell configuration page, you can see that within this particular page, we can set up the various configurations, in this, in this case, the important head attach point for the, for the various tools. The user can then simply invoke them by switching the cell configuration to either station number one, which in this case is milling, or any of the other subsequent stations. For example, station number three, which in this case, as you can see, is, is polishing. And let's do one more, which is the final stage, the trim application over on station number four. So what looks like a complex, uh, complex procedure and process to set up is actually quite simplistic. 